So today I want to show you how to make your own do-it-yourself dumbbell alternative tool that's really going to help boost your training. And especially for a few exercises, I find it's a little better than the dumbbells. So without any more delay, let us begin. So to make this, you just need four items. So the very first thing you'll need is a regular PVC pipe, as you see right here. Now, the width you might want is about an inch, or if you look into the hole, you'll want about the size of a quarter, so the circumference of a quarter right there. Tool number two is just regular rope. Now, you can use whatever you have at your house. If you got rope lying around, use that. If not, you can buy something like this for about five to four dollars, maybe six, around that range. And you can use this for a lot more. You're just gonna need a very little bit. Now, the main thing you might need that you might not have is a pair of uh, weight plates. That's the only thing you'll need. Now, this one I actually got on a really good sale at a local thrift shop. So 25 pounds was $7 each. Usually these will go around for 20, maybe $30 each if you buy it full retail. So really that's the best way to go. Go to a yard sale, go to a thrift store like Goodwill or something, for example. Or even ask a friend if they don't need any weights, they might give it to you. So really great way, don't buy them full retail, just get them used. Because I mean, it could be a little rusty, just wipe it off as good as new. It's a weight, it doesn't have to be new. <laughs> That's the whole purpose. So really you'll need just two weight plates. Since I got two, 25, you can use any weight you have. If you got weights, you can use them. Spread them out so they're even. So you got four tens, you can go 10, 10, that's 20 weights on each one. So spread it out evenly, and that's pretty much it. And the last tool you really need is just a regular saw. So what I have here is a bone saw, which will pretty much work. Any saw will do. As long as it can cut, you can even use a knife if you have. Don't cut your finger. And that's pretty much it. Just these four tools. Rope, PVC pipe, a saw, and some weight plates. That's it. Now let's get started how we're going to make this. So first step. First step, get your rope. And you're going to cut about the same length. So for this, I would say about, uh, about four feet of rope how to do the trick. So it doesn't have to be exact, but about approximately. like such. All right, now you're gonna measure and cut another length of rope about equal length. So about right here. Careful not to sew your leg off though. <laughs> that would not be a pleasant day. All right, easy as that. Now, we got our rope sewed off. Now, let's saw our PCV pipe. So, Next, we'll just place uh, some paper right here, or a news magazine that you can throw away to make it easier uh, in case any dust flies off from your PCV pipe. Then, of course, depending on your hand length, it doesn't have to be exact. You can grab your hand to measure and get about a little bit bigger than your hand would, so about right here. Next, you just place it, hold it down, and then start sewing. Alright, so we got one handle, we'll make another one. So, there we go, we got our two pipes. Now ideally you want some sandpaper, maybe knock some uh, 
dust out of it. You want to get some sandpaper, sand it off first. But this could work as well. All right. So, hold you up. Now, onto the building part. Simply grab your rope, put it through, about equal length, put your PCV pipe, like such, grab these, next, just make a knot. Make sure it's pretty tight. Make a second knot. Put some weight behind it. And perhaps maybe a third one. Being pretty much any knot will do. So don't worry too much. Pull it to get it tight. Yeah, there you go. Pretty much got it now. We'll just do that for the second one. So one down, one to go. Very simply. Put it through the hole. Pick it up. Put it through the hole again. Lift it up. Make a knot. Make a second knot. Tighten it up. And make a third knot. Just tighten it up. Now also when it pulls, it's gonna tighten the rope over time. And there you go. All right, easy as that. Now we got our training tools. Alternative homemade dumbbells. So let me show you some exercises you can do with the tool we made today. Thank you.